Hey guys, so after feel waiting for like two years for more Life is Strange content, finally on August 31st, Life is Strange Before the Storm episode one was released. And I torturously had to spend all of Thursday waiting to play it because I was at school and my Xbox was at home. But then on Friday after my class, my mom picked me up and took me home and I got to play it, and it was the best day ever. And let me just say, it was everything I wanted. They did such a good job at, like, all the writing, at staying true to Chloe's personality and it being genuine to her and being a teenager. Like, all of it was so good. Like... I was worried because a different developer was making it, but it was perfect. It was ex it felt so genuine to Chloe and like how she would be three years in the past, you know. And then they did such a good job at making you in love with Rachel, which is, you know, the whole point because in you know Life is Strange, everyone all the time talked about how everyone loved Rachel, everyone had wanted to be her, everyone wanted to date her. Like, she was the most popular girl ever and was friends with everybody. And they did such a good job of portraying that in episode one. Like, the whole time I was like, I am in love with you, Rachel. In love. I would hang out with you every second of every day. They did such a good job at that. It was so perfect. The writing was perfect. The music was great. Especially the song in the club bar. That was great. Like, it was all just so perfect. And, yes, I was a little bit bummed that Ashley Birch wasn't doing the voice of Chloe, but the voice actress pretty much sounds like how Ashley Birch would sound doing the voice of a, th a Chloe that's, you know, 16 instead of 19. It was perfect. It was absolutely perfect. And... I wouldn't have wanted it any other way, and I am bummed that there's only going to be three episodes instead of five, but I understand there's not as much to go from as there was in Life is Strange because there's not, like, a storm that's going to kill people, um, a, mis a girl that's mysteriously missing, and time travel power, so there's not as much to go on, but I'm so excited, and I'm excited for the bonus Max episode at the end, and uh, it was so great, it was so amazing, all the voice actors were great, like, because of the voice actor strike, and because it was a different developer, like, I think the only voice actor that was the same was Frank, but they all did a really good job of portraying the characters anyways and portraying them three years younger, and it was great. All of it was great. Like, ugh. There's fun. The the way that Chloe does puzzles and gets past things is a really creative thing that caters to her personality perfectly. Since, you know, she doesn't have powers, you have to have something. It, it is perfect. It perfectly matches her. And everything is just perfect, so play it. Yeah.